Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. Monochromatic light traveling upwards in glass is incident on the boundary of air and the path of refracted light is shown. So it's like uh, this is the angle theta critical. This is incident and this angle becomes 90 degrees. So simply the incident angle is equal to the theta critical for the combination of glass and air. Fine. A layer of liquid is then placed on the glass without changing the angle of incident on the glass. The refractive index of the glass is greater than the refractive index of liquid and the refractive of in liquid is greater than that of air. Fine. What is the path of refracted light when the liquid is placed on the glass? When the liquid is placed on the glass. So it means like this is glass, this is liquid and this is layer air. So technically we are talking about this thing. Like this is glass and then this is liquid and then this is air. So the light must be passing through all the, these three mediums like one, two, three. So we have to find like which diagram will it be. So my dear students, um, there is a concept here. Now what is this concept? Now we learn this concept when we deal with the multiple layers of different mediums and the light is trying to pass through it. So let me explain you this thing. Okay, let us see. Now, what happens when the light is facing like multiple mediums? Like this is medium one, this is medium two, and this is medium three, and other is medium four, let us say. So let us say this is air at the end. So this is medium one, Medium 1 will be this, medium 2 will be this, 3 will be this, 4 will be this, and 5 will be this. So let us say there are 5 different mediums that we are now dealing with. So what happens is that the light is incident at this point and let me say that this angle is, the incident angle is I. So what happens is it goes like this and then like this, then like this and something keeps on happening and at the end of the day the light emerges into the air. So this is the refracted angle R and this is the angle I. So what happens at all these interferences, we apply the Snell's law. Let us do it a very quick process. Like here, it will be N1 sine I will be equal to N2, the refractive index here. And this, I'm just calling this angle as theta, a uh, two. So it will be sine of two. This sine of 2, this angle will be equal to this angle because these two angles are uh, alternate interior angles. This normal is parallel to this normal, so this can be taken as 2. So at the second interface, it will become n2 sine 2, n2 sine 2 is equal to n3 sine 3. Okay. Now, again, this angle is the alternate interior angle, so this will be treated as angle 3. So what will be the equation here? N3 sine of the theta 3 will be equal to N4 sine of theta 4. This will be theta 4. Now theta 4 is again the alternate interior angle. So finally going to the last junction you can say that N4 sine 4 is equal to N5 sine R. Is it okay? Now you can see that all these things are actually equal, isn't it? Like n1 sine 1 is equal to this, this is equal to this, this is equal to this, this is equal to this. So eventually we find that this is equal to this. So overall n1 sine i is equal to n5 sine r. n1 sine i is equal to n5 sine r. Fine. So this becomes the equation now and this would be the same equation if there were no intermediate mediums between like two, three and four are not present there. Let us say only two mediums are there. This is medium number one and this is medium number five. So overall, this thing would be taking place. This is I. So I would have said N1 sine I is equal to N5 sine R. So this is the same equation that we got if there are intermediate mediums, even then we are getting the same equation. So that doesn't matter at all. So whatever is the in-between mediums, we can just neglect them. Now, 
having said that and understood like this thing if we have understood now i'm erasing everything let us go back to our question now now you see for the interface of air and the glass we say that this angle is coming out to be 90 degree so whatever and how many mediums you keep on adding in between air and the glass the last angle will be 90 degrees so in this case it would be like this like there are three mediums now okay medium one two and three so what happens is this angle we keep same like this so it is not getting a tir at this moment it would be like bending a bit and at this moment it will become 90 degrees and this will be the same angle so they have explicitly mentioned here that the angle of incidence is not changed so angle of incidence is not changed and if it is not changed so we it is independent of the intermediate mediums whatever they are coming inside so our answer in this case would be d like i knew this thing because uh, here in india we are doing these kind of questions uh, multiple layers for the snell's law that is why i knew this thing already but i had to explain this thing but and in ib really i tell you this thing is like um, not given in the books and uh, this is really hard for ib students i would say it's it's a difficult question and so this is how we do it and our answer will be d i'm sure about it let us see from the mark scheme and yes the answer is d indeed for many students i would say uh, they would have ticked the answer c it could be but uh, if, if the medium was not air anymore only then it will be otherwise not so the answer will be d so my dear students this is professor varun and please subscribe to the youtube channel all the best